What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome everyone back to the channel. How y'all doing? What is going on with you guys? Anyone new watching for the very first time, I'd like to welcome you as well. I ask that you drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know where you're watching from, and I will reply back to you. And if you enjoyed the, the content that you're watching, go ahead and sub up to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And I need everyone that's watching, everyone in the audience to smash that like button, smash that thumbs up button. It helps the channel grow. YouTube sees that and pushes the video out to other people on YouTube that haven't seen the video from this channel. Now today, we're going to look at a sneaker. You see the box is a Jordan 1 box. The colorway is very controversial among some sneaker communities. Some people are upset at Nike. Me personally, normally when Nike would have a sneaker coming out, I would notice that they have the matching apparel in stores about two to three weeks before the actual shoe drop in store and i noticed lately it hasn't been that way and it definitely they definitely would have made some money if they had some merch in the store to match this sneaker i'm gonna stop the talk and grab the box jog one box y'all see the label i'm gonna go ahead and read it, it says air jog one retro high og color light fusion red black and white size 13 my pair and the price is 170 US dollars. 170 US dollars. You're going to take the top off. You see, you got your lock stamp going on right here. You got your standard tissue paper. Go ahead and flip that back. Yes, the Jaws One Fusion Three. Extra laces. most iconic Jordan 1 silhouettes ever and we have a classic spirited you know new colorway let's go in you have your white on your quarter panel and your toe box you got that light fusion red all around your ankle collar your lace eyelets your heel and your toe box you have a laser orange Nike swoosh and going around and you have your wings logo branded on in the black colorway 
Now the leather on these are something serious, guys. These are very tumble, very soft to the touch, guys. That's on your upper. Your midsole, you got a white midsole with a hit of black at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. You have an all black jaw on outsole. Looking at the heel of the sneaker, you see those colors. And looking at the medium side of the sneaker, you have that light fusion red again coming around from the lateral side. And some nice leather going on here. You have that laser orange as well around your ankle collar and the gap right there and on your Nike swoosh. You got your, your white color blocking quarter panel right here, very soft to the touch. And you have more of that few light fusion red or light paint, which all light fusion red is, is a light paint color wig, to be honest with you. It's what it is. And it's very soft to the touch. Your midsole is the same white with black at the very bottom. Let's go ahead and get that shoe tree out. John Brand logo right here, the jump man. And your size 13, 14. Yes, I have my size on the way. I was able to cop mine on the morning of release from Offspring. Pretty quick, they allowed me to use Apple Pay, and the sneaker is actually on its way already. It on fleek, coming from the UK. Look at the leather on your toe box. It's nice and soft and tumble. You be the judge. Some people like it, some don't. Me myself, I love it. Comes with the white flat laces, and as you saw earlier, you have three additional laces. You have black. You have laser orange, and of course you have that light fusion red. Me, myself, I probably gonna hit it with that laser orange or the black. Comment below, let me know what laces you guys gonna rock these with. I've been seeing people having some interesting lace swaps. And you know it's all what you make it, guys. Going up your tongue, you have that nylon material on your tongue. And you have all these colors that are in the shoe incorporated on the tag in a gradient texture. You have the laser orange, which fades into the light fusion red and all that good stuff on the black tab. Flip it around, you got all that good information. You have a black sock liner all in here. Let me hold this there. You have a light fusion red insert. You have your sizing sticker. And you have blazer orange Nike Air branding on your insole. And yes, guys, looking at that sizing tag, says US size 13, production date November 11th of last year to January the 28th of this year. So uh, about a couple months of production with these guys. Uh, I noticed one thing, the foot sites didn't have any grade school sizes. The only place I saw grade school sizes were on the Nike sneakers app. And I think they had them on all spring. I can't remember exactly if they have them on all spring. But, uh, I'm not sure what these going to do on the resale market, but right now the numbers are pretty low. So if you don't have I strongly recommend that you buy in now because the sneaker seem kind of limited so the value may shoot up in a couple months couple weeks I mean the value of these sneakers are very unpredictable you just never know but if I didn't have a pair coming that I purchased retail I definitely would buy it now I think I checked on both I think my size so I definitely would pull the trigger if I definitely did have these on the way. So let me know what y'all think. Give me an honest opinion in the comment section about these. Let's talk about it. And before I let y'all go, and like I always tell y'all, if y'all can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet.
Jay, signing out.